Is your Facebook ad account currently restricted from advertising? Hey, my name is Cedric from Vertex Marketing Agency, and I know how stressful having a restricted ad account can be. This is actually why I decided to record this video to give you steps and options that you can actually take in order to recover your account. So don't worry, we're gonna figure this out together. And after watching this video, you'll know exactly what to do to recover your account. The only thing I'll ask from you is that you actually give this video a thumbs up so that you can help other businesses that also have their ad account uh, restricted find this video. So so thanks for doing that. So the first thing that you want to do when something like this happens to you is honestly just ask yourself like, why was my Facebook ad restricted from advertising? So usually what I'll see is that there's a few things that led to having that ad account restricted from advertising. It could potentially be that you launched an ad and the ad got rejected and then you didn't really listen to Facebook's feedback and you just requested a manual review, then the ad got rejected again and then uh, it just did decide to also uh, restrict your ad account. So that could potentially be a, one of the reasons. There's honestly a long list of different variables and reasons why Facebook could restrict your ad account. What basically what I'm trying to say is that you need to understand Facebook's policy. And the reason for that is because I'm going to show you in this video how to get your ad account back. But when you do, if you don't understand Facebook's policy, well, you're going to be stuck in the loop. You're probably going to get your ad account restricted from advertising again. So really important that you understand the policy. And we actually made a video uh, going through the entire Facebook ad policy. Uh, and I'll actually leave the link of this video in the description of this video. So go ahead and take a look at that if you're not too familiar with the policy. So I guess what I'm trying to say is just that make sure that it wasn't your fault. And if it was your fault well no problem is just kind of learn from it and when you get your ad account back you'll just know not to do whatever you did again so the next thing that you'll actually want to do after that is just request a manual review so if you see that pop up there's a button you're going to click that button and it's going to bring you to your ad account policy page now this is where you're going to be able to see like the status of your ad account and a few other things now if you uh, look to the right there's going to be a button that you can click and that's the button that you would click to request a manual review now for a lot of you guys that click the button it might just send the, the request and that's it and you're going to just kind of have to wait but for another Another part of you guys that are clicking the button, it might actually ask you to verify your identity and you're going to have to provide whatever information that Facebook requests. And they usually do just do that because they, they want to make sure that it's actually you requesting that uh, manual review. So once that's done, I actually recommend you that you wait two business days. And if you want, you can check every day, but at least wait two business days and then go in your Facebook ad account and see if your ad account is still restricted from advertising. If if it is, then I recommend that you reach out to their uh, Facebook business support. So just go on Google and type Facebook business support. And then uh, that would be the one. So Facebook business help center. Great. So that's the page. Make sure that you are under the business help center and not the Facebook help center because there's two different kind of help center. You want the one for businesses because that's the one that offers chat support for the regular Facebook customers. They don't really offer chat support. So you're going on this page and if you scroll to the bottom, you're, you should see something like this where it says find answers or contact support. I understand that potentially some of you won't see this. If you don't see that, no problem. Um, I'm going to give you some other recommendations and options, but a lot of you, especially if you're uh, spending a decent amount of money on Facebook ads, you should see this and you're going to click the get started button. Now it is just going to ask you to, uh, well, first of all, if you're following up on a case, you're going to see your cases here. And then it's going to ask you to pick the uh, business manager that you're currently experiencing this issue in. So go and see that ad account in which business manager it is. And then let's say it is, I'm going to just pick this random business manager here. So it's just going to ask you what the issue. So you should pick the issue saying that your ad account is disabled. And then you should see this button here that says contact support. If you've never uh, contacted Facebook support yet, it's actually pretty simple. Basically, it's going to start a conversation in Facebook Messenger, and then you're going to be able to actually talk with a Facebook employee through Messenger. So when you talk to a Facebook associate, just let them know what the problem is and that you either know exactly what happened and you're sorry and it's not going to happen again, or you actually have no clue what's happening and you followed all their different policy rules 
tools and this is just really like a bug and you'd like to get it fixed so that you can resume uh, advertising on Facebook. So let them know they will be able to help you out but I'm giving you a little heads up right now. They won't be able to, let's say, unpause your account. That is actually not in their power as I'm recording this video. What they will do is they will escalate this higher to a person at Facebook that is responsible of uh, taking a look and analyzing ad accounts to see if they should be able to advertise again. So the support here will help you raise uh, your ticket or tickets and potentially add some urgency to your ticket so that it gets resolved faster. But that's about it and that's kind of like the power that they have. So what I recommend you to do from here is every business day, go into your ad account and see if it's still restricted. And then what you can do is every two business days, you can, I don't know if you remember, but you can actually follow up on a current case. And I recommend that you do that. And every two business days, you can just follow up and see and ask for an update. Now, after this, there's a few different things that could happen. You could potentially have your ad account back online and everything's back to normal. That's a case, awesome. Uh, option number two is potentially you will receive an email letting you know that they've reviewed your ad account and they basically won't let you resume Facebook advertising with this specific ad account. And option number three is that they might take a super long time to get back to you. So I feel like I'll put option two and option three uh, together and I'll give you a solution if this is the case. So. If your ad account is fully restricted from advertising and you got an email saying that you will basically never be able to advertise on Facebook with this ad account again, no problem. And honestly, it happened to me in the past and it's okay. What you're gonna wanna do is truly make sure that you were not the reason why the ad account got disabled and that is, is really just a bug. Again, you wanna make sure that this is the case because if you're actually just not following Facebook's policy, it's just gonna keep happening to you. But what you're going to want to do is not create a new ad account in that same business manager. And the reason for that is because if you, this happens to you again in that business manager and let's say all your assets are in that business manager and what I mean by assets, it could be uh, your pixel, it could be your uh, Facebook page, your Instagram page. If your business manager get restricted or banned, then all of these will be stuck in that business manager and it will be banned forever. It honestly truly sucks. It happened to me in the past. So that's why I do not recommend you to create a new ad account in that same business manager. Instead, what I recommend you to do, and that is not just my opinion, I've also talked to a lot of Facebook employees and they also recommended that, that you actually create a new business manager. So you create that new business manager and then what you'll wanna do is add your Facebook page and add all your different ad sets inside that business manager. And the reason for that is because if ever your business manager gets banned, again, you do not wanna have all your assets stuck in that business manager because once it's stuck there and it's restricted or banned, you can't do anything with it. So you're gonna slowly just start moving everything to a new business manager, and then you're gonna create that new ad account inside the new business manager. And a pro tip for when you're creating that new ad account is under the payment method, use a brand new credit card that Facebook has never seen, and not the credit card that uh, you were using with the ad account that got restricted from advertising. I understand that not everyone's gonna be able to do that, but if you can, I strongly recommend that you do that. And hopefully you kind of understand like what the process, I know that it's not ideal. I know that it kind of sucks because you kind of have to start from scratch, but it, that is really at this point, your only option, right? Because really your choices are, it's either you create a new ad account in that old business, that manager or that business manager that contains the restricted ad account, but there's a chance that that ad account gets disabled again. And if Facebook sees that now you have two ad account disabled, they might actually see, okay, well, this person is gonna keep creating ad accounts inside a business manager and they're never gonna stop and they're gonna keep breaking our policy rules. So what they'll do then is, like I said, they're gonna ban your business manager. And once that's done, I'm telling you, this is a huge deal because all your assets are stuck in that business manager. You can't do anything with it. So that's why the, the solution that I recommend is that you just move things into the new business manager your, like your page, your Instagram pages. You can even share your audiences and uh, even potentially your pixels and had all these different things to that new business manager and just honestly resume your advertising in that new one.
So guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you were able to get this resolved by just requesting a review or talking with the Facebook uh, support team and you did not have to create a new business manager. But if you did had to because you had no other options, like no worries, like I said, I also had to go through this and a lot of advertisers also had to go through the same thing that you're currently experiencing. And I guess it's just part of your advertising journey. But thanks a lot for watching and consider subscribing because we release videos about Facebook ads every week. Bye for now.